With the scripts finished off for the Mario character and for the interactive objects, this kind of gives us a chance to actually just put some of the pieces together, have some fun with it. Um, this scene, this is uh, level or scene 10. This is just a scene example. Um, what we've done is just place some of the prefabs that we have and just drop them into this area. Uh, what we want to do at this point is just take this scene. We'll just go ahead and play it from here. And we'll run the Mario character around and show off some of the parts and pieces that we've been building on. Uh, we have the coins that we can collect. We have the interactive uh, walls, uh, objects that we can jump off of. We have over here crates that can be pushed. We can pick crates up. We can walk around. We can throw them. Uh, we have larger crates that we can actually push around that we can't pick up. We have objects like the uh, the keys that are right here. Um, let's say we do a, a crouch flip when we get to a key. We can actually grab the key. There we go. Uh, we can interact with the logs uh, from either pushing them. For instance, I could push this one off. We have our sliding option for the character, so if we want to slide the character down. We have enemies that we can hit and bounce off of. We have our jump pads available. Oh, we got hit by the enemy. Got hit again. There we go. So right now the uh, the bridge that we had made before it's going to require two keys. So we get our keys here, and then that allows us to open the door, which is going to let us get a little bit closer to the castle. Um, the uh, the pieces down here, maybe we could jump, and if we fell, the uh, kill zone box is actually down below us. So our respawn point will be up there. Um, we could run and jump and make our way over to this side. Uh, we could go over here and jump on those moving pads and move and get the coins. We could make our way up to the top right here, um, where we have more Goomba characters to fight against. We also have some of these larger structures like this. This is one that we haven't actually looked at before. Uh, this is one that you could actually script yourself. It would be using the, uh, the missiles and having missiles shoot out of it. Um, we also have the plant, uh, the little plant eater guys. We've got Yoshi walking around the uh, waypoints that we set up earlier. All right, and we also have some of these moving platforms up here as well. And if you notice, the moving platforms get up pretty high. We'll go ahead and show you those. There we go. So now we're up pretty high. And with that, that gives us our basic environment for Mario. It gives us a lot of the interactivity that we have uh, that's commonly available with it and just kind of a standard for any type of third person and or first person type of games. The uh, the other elements as well, remember we've we've did a, a lot in the 2D game uh, they can actually translate directly over to the 3D game. Uh, you may find yourself wanting to put in those uh, blocks for Mario to actually jump and hit and have them uh, break into pieces. Uh, a lot of that functionality is very easily portable over, uh, which would also be a really good practice for you to continue your learning uh, on the 3D side and making sure you understand the conversion process, but as well as just adding to the systems that are already in place.